Hi, I'm Rebecca Zadibble. I'd like to take you with me as I paint Positano in this recent commission. My paintings generally begin with a sketch, and this one was created using my iPad Pro and some sketching apps. To begin with, I create a grid and put it on my canvas, in this instance, a 36 by 48 deep edge canvas. Blocking in the big shapes first, without drawing, I go in and try to unite the entire painting using a limited palette. After developing the large shapes to some degree, I get a drawing onto the rest of the canvas using water-soluble marker. I begin painting the buildings by focusing on the area that I think is going to be most important, which is the area around the church. I also have to bring the image around the corner. I draw attention to this area that I consider most important by using my brightest colors and the most detail. And then as things recede in space, I dull the color and lessen the amount of detail to give a sense of perspective. It's that perspective that brings a sense of depth to the landscape. In order to create unity throughout the painting, as I move across to the other side, I try to repeat colors and use harmonious mixes in order for the entire painting to read as one unified piece. In order to keep items that are repeated frequently from becoming boring, I create unique mixes of colors for windows. Uh, nothing is repeated twice in quite the same way. In order to illustrate the rocks along the shoreline, I used a variety of brush strokes and tools in order to create the textured shapes. I also used it as an opportunity to repeat some colors that had been used in the rocky cliffs above. Shadows are another opportunity to find neutralized color and I use that opportunity to repeat colors that may need repetition throughout the painting in order to bring that harmony that is so important. One of the unique challenges of this painting was the fact that every building has its own unique perspective. Making sure to honor that perspective not only in relationship to itself but also in relationship to the entire painting was a real challenge. Despite the fact that this is a busy painting, I think that the colors and the repetition of those colors helps to hold the whole piece together and helps to move your eye comfortably throughout the painting. I chose to simplify the harbor front and left out a lot of boats and many of the people just in order to have a little bit more calm, contrast to the busier townscape. I also chose to have the town peek through to the sky here at the top of the hill and my hope was to draw your eye upward and around and over across the top of the mountain to the other side of the painting creating that movement that brings you back around to the focal area. It's important to have that kind of movement so that your eye doesn't get stuck in one part of the painting especially in a really large painting such as this. Creating contrast and promoting harmony is what painting is all about as far as I'm concerned. This piece has a contrast of large, quieter shapes with smaller, busier, more colorful shapes. And that contrast creates a real dynamic feeling. In addition, you can't just think about contrast, you have to think about harmony and holding things together. And for the most part, I did that through color and perhaps through shape, but mostly through color. And with that repetition of color across the canvas from top to bottom and side to side, I think that despite the fact that this is a very colorful painting, it doesn't read as gaudy. It holds together and there's some unity that you can perceive feels as if it's not just a carnival of color but a cohesive and uh, unified whole. A few coats of varnish was the final touch and 
I called it done. I hope you enjoyed this discussion of my process.